All right, so welcome everybody to episode 20 of Civilization V, Gods and Kings Expansion Pack. Uh, wow, it's been a while since I played this. Last time I saved was November 9th, and today is December 12th. <sighs> Actually, I'm just kidding. Today is December 11th. But December 12th sounds so much cooler because it's 12-12-12. It's, uh, and I know tomorrow at 12-12 on 12-12-12, I will be remarking how it is 12-12 on 12-12-12. And then I will also assume that it is 12-12-12 on 12-12-12, assuming that it's been 12 seconds into the 12th minute of the 12th hour on the 12th day of the 12th month of the 12th year. So yes, anyway, uh, let's, let's, let's get started, shall we? Uh, so, Songhai, still a problem. However, I've decided to not attack them this episode. Uh, just because I don't feel like it. I think we should actually look into our own affairs for this episode. Such as tasks, like Lahasia desires the Sistine Chapel. Are we building the Sistine Chapel? Apparently we're not building the Sistine Chapel. Where the heck is this castle built? Oh, right there. Why are we not building the Sistine Chapel? Because it would take a long time. What are we build why, are why are we building a market? There's probably a good reason why we're building a market. Wait, is there a good reason we're building a market? Hmm. Does not appear to be. Of course, there probably was at the time. Oh, I, I see, I see. Okay, so, anyway, this market's going to be obsolete in about ten turns, because we really need to build Oxford University. After New York is finally going to be done making university. I gotta say, that was probably the worst idea, making New York before waiting for Washington to finish making that. Shh. A couple episodes later, here we are. Okay. So, what next? I'm gonna make a random mine here for no reason. Oh, my God. I really? I don't even- I don't even want to justify that with a response because too long, too many times also has he wanted New York from me. You're not getting it back, buddy. If anything, you're gonna lose even more. So, uh, anyway. Let's talk about some of the things I've done over the past month, and by past month I mean past week because I don't do anything. Um, been watching the uh, Yogscast live stream for the holiday with just giving for bees and such, sending bees over to Africa to help sustain families who don't have a steady income. They can sell honey. Oh, if they don't get stung to death by angry bees who are being sent to Africa against their will. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, if you if you want to watch that, uh, there will be an annotation right in the bottom here with a maybe a link. Either an annotation or something in the bottom. No, you know, it's an easy link. I'm just going to put a little speech bubble here. Uh, so it looks like someone from the fort is saying to go watch it. And I'm, I'm going to sit here and let that last for about 10 seconds. And uh, those are really fun. They start at um, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Obviously, you know, United States East Coast. If you live in Britain, that's uh, 6 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. And uh, what is what is that in... Uh, let's see. So... If it's one here, that means it's that means it's 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I think, or whatever whatever they have in California. I'm not too good with American time zones because I only really need to keep up with my own because that's the only time zone I've ever been in. I know I'm a not a very good. Well, actually speaking in terms, I am a pretty good American because I don't really. I don't want to say I don't care about the rest of the country, but I have never really taken, like, a full-on interest in learning about the rest of the country. I just kind of know what's around me. 
The only time I've ever been out of this time zone was when I went to California. So, yeah. Anyway, other than that little rant there, you can watch that. That'll probably, that goes on, that's going to go on until Christmas. So, if you're watching this after Christmas 2012, you're probably going to wonder why there's no annotation there. And uh, if you are, uh, if you're still wondering why there isn't an annotation there, and it's after Christmas 2012, then I suggest you find someone who can help out with that. Because I pretty much told you that it's only going until Christmas 2012. If we even get there. Now, are my friends with the Mayans? No. I, I, I do not know the Mayans. Good. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's all good. The, uh, the U.S. government said, uh, said that when the world isn't going to end because that's so reassuring. The only reason I would believe... If, if I was crazy... If I was still me, but insane, the only reason I would believe that the world wasn't ending is if George Carlin came back to life and told me himself. Uh, or if someone paid me a lot of money not to believe it. Yeah. So, uh... Yep. Not, not much to go on that conversation. H how long until this is done? Three turns. Three turns until we can wait another few turns to get a free technology. How many turns is it going to take to build this? 53 turns. And it's only been eight minutes. Whoa! Oh man, you can tell I'm tired because I just... This is, this is not a good... This, this is not going to be a very funny episode. Yeah, so anyway, I, I guess I can talk about the live stream still. They got a schedule on the, the page. It's, if anybody missed the annotation, it's uh, twitchtv.com slash yogscast. Pretty sure that's it. If that doesn't work, then go back to the beginning of the video and look at the annotation, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. Uh, but anyway, they play a bunch of games with the whole crew with special guests. I watched uh, the other day they had hat films on. Um, they, they get, they have the people, obviously, who live at Yogg Towers, and of course the people from, uh, from, you know, other places, like Ravs from Norway, uh, from, I think he's Norwegian. Yeah, possibly. Whatever, they got Ravs, and they got Sips, obviously lives in Canada. So they got the whole crew on... Sometimes, I mean, they're not all on every night. Like, today, they didn't have Simon and Lewis on because they were taking a break because they were on yesterday, I think. No. But, you know, you, you catch my drift. You got the general idea. Well, lots of fun. They run, well, for me, they run until about 7 or 8, depending on how long they want to stay up. Uh, they played some pretty good music today. Um... Ooh, we're in the industrial era. That means our buildings are going to look awesome now. And we can start navigation. Wait, no, wait. Wait a minute. What do we want to do? Biology. We need oil. Because we're power-hungry businessmen. So anyway, pretty much how the schedule for those things works. Ooh. Cousin. Really? Really? His name is Cousin. Go to Princeton. So, uh, the schedule pretty much works. They start at around 1 Eastern Standard Time, 6 GMT. And, um, they, they pretty much play games. They switch between games throughout the, throughout the whole, I guess it's around 6 hours that they're playing. Different people can come in, or they keep the same people, you know how it goes. And, um, I'll see, so now our building's upgraded. Uh, so, I kind of switch, maybe switch it off sometimes, or go the whole thing, you know, they play games, blah, 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 sometimes special guests, blah, 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 and then towards the end, around midnight for them, like 30 minutes before midnight, 
they'll start playing uh, smooth sparkles will start playing smooth jazz or something to that effect like today they decided to play some christmas music also some uh some more recent stuff like some r&b and uh it was it was quite entertaining i have to say quite a good way to waste six hours so anyway we started work on navigation which were which <laughs> we're, we're quite far ahead of everyone else i have to say we're working towards biology which will reveal oil and we can harvest it and then uh i'm gonna go towards wasteful parts eh, not really We'll stick with biology. No, uh, wait a minute. I said 21 iron. No, I am not giving you all of my iron and horses. Did we ever buy a? Uh, yeah, we did. How about how about in Princeton? Did we ever buy a uh, cathedral? Yes, we did. We can we can just buy a great profit. Instead of having to wait for, well, we'd have to wait for the amount, but we can buy it early. So we do have a cathedral in every town. Of course we do. And how much is? Jeez, these guys are expensive. Okay. Processing. Turn for city-states. This one's only going to be about 20. I don't feel like doing a 30 right now. It's kind of late, kind of tired. There will be a 30 minute long one for the 30th episode, which will be in 10 more episodes. <gasps> Whoa. I know, right? <laughs> oh man, that was, that was, I, I made it sound like you were all stupid, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. How many turns to policy? 16. What are we working on in policy wise? Ah, the rationalism. This, this is just the most amazing change ever. I know I went over this when I looked at this the first time, but purchasing great scientists with faith is amazing. And we get two free technologies. It's just, just, just amazing. It's just, just so great. Ugh. Hey, hey, what do you think this is? Oh, I see what you're doing here. Oh, shut up. No, 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 no. Don't start randomly scrolling again. This is a scout. Why Why is the scout all the way out here? Why am I losing grasp with Milan? Just go. Run. Make more farms. Why won't you load textures? Oh, there it is. Uh, Mulan. Give a gift. That much. Quests. So far you have the lead with that. That's, that's great. Ugh, all our forts and trading posts updated. But not our horse farms. Our horse farms are still stone walls, which are so ineffective, because horses can jump over two foot high stone walls. Ah. William of Orange. Oh my god, his territories have such an orange hue. It's amazing. Oh, god. Oh, well, there goes that guy. Bye. Oh. He went down with a bang. Bum bum bum. That is a lot of iron. Hey, look, another spot for a New York. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't invade their territory. Or would I? Laugh, laugh, chuckle, chuckle. Mwahaha. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not that evil. Um, build over here. You, I want you to build a, a trading post. And I also want you to make a trading post. And did I mention a trading post? Oh, look, this fort looks so high-tech now. Except that there's still a bunch of weird small buildings on it. That makes no sense. And the, all they really did was make it out of concrete and put an antenna on top. That That's really the only improvement. Oh, 
Go, my people. Build against your will for no pay. Oh, how long? Twelve turns. Gustavus Adolphus has made peace with Colombo. Losing grasp on Laasia. Oh well. Ooh, great scientist. Oh, That's all he did? He did like half of that? Man, I can't believe they really nerfed those guys. And again, they really nerfed everything in this game after after the expansion pack. Although at least there are regular updates now. I think the last one was just kind of a bug fix. Just downloaded it when I tried to play this game. Ah, uh, shut up, Gustavus. No one, no one likes you. The Netherlands. No. I've got too much on my hands already. Now why the heck am I talking British? It's like... 1672, received pronunciation hasn't even been invented yet. I should be talking like I'm from the south. At least... At least they will be more spot on with the British accent before 18-something. I, I was actually surprised to find out that they didn't sound like that for... They haven't sounded like that for a while. That sentence made no sense. I was surprised to find out that they've only sounded like that for a little while. There we go. Their accent is even younger than the country. And then I find it funny when a British person, and of course not all of them do this, but when some British people are like, oh, I hate the way Southerners talk, and then it's like, they gave us that. Like the Cavaliers, they came over before America was America. They settled in the South. And... They, uh, ooh, ally. And they brought words like y'all, snickerdoodle, and varmint. And if anyone actually watched the, uh, the Vsauce episode called English, you'd know all this already. And they also brought emphasizing the, uh, first, shut up, emphasizing the first, uh, syllable in words like police and guitar. Uh, southern drawl. Enemy has been spotted near New York. What enemy? A boat? You're complaining about a boat? Ooh, I know. No. Eh, uh, uh. Should we take to Gaza? No, let's wait until Oxford University is done before we start invading anyone. Jeez, I think someone might be vacuuming somewhere nearby. I just hear a... Through the doorway. Hmm. Alright, so anyway, uh, we're going to wait till navigation finishes, and I'm going to end up this episode, uh, because it's getting kind of late. And I'm tired, if I haven't said that already, like 70, 70, 70, 70, 70 times. Yes, I know I just said 70, like, six times, but that's okay. Because I'm very tired. I've been sick for, like, the past four days. It sucks. Oh, well, at least I didn't have to go to school. I was actually able to watch the whole... Uh, Yogg's Cast live stream because you know of course I get home at 2.30 so you know when when the heck did I get like 7 more or not even 7 like when did I get think 12 more horses there we go I can add when did I get I, when he asked for that thing I only had 21 iron and 9 horses and now I have ran, I did not invest in more horses where, where did these horses come from hmm. oh wait oh, 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 hold on horses. Ugh, okay. Finish up navigation. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's the orange. Their, their, their stuff is, oh, their stuff is really orange. I mean, like, more orange than an orange. It's that orange. I don't even know how orange to describe it as orange, but more than orange. It's so orange that it makes orange look brown. That made no sense. It's so orange that it makes burgundy look black. And that kind of made sense, but I'm just going to stop because these aren't going anywhere. And you're probably like, what in the world is he talking about? Because if it makes you feel any better, I don't know what I'm talking about either. Oh, where are they? 
Look, look at that orange. So orange. <laughs> Confucianism. What the heck is this? A polder? What's a polder? Hey! Alright, so anyway, guys. Uh, my name is Johan Farley. I'd like to thank you for watching. If anyone knows what a polder is, please tell me. Obviously, it's some kind of farm with irrigation. But, uh, yeah, so my name is Johan Farley. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.